All right, guys, what's going on? Same day, different video. Just going to go ahead and install the parts on the G2C, guys. Um, that's one thing I could not wait for me to do. So that's what I'm going to get into right now. As you could see, I have most of the parts already on the desk, on the table, whatever you want to call it. I have the flathead screwdriver. First thing we're going to work on is the red dot. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is take out the sides that's on there. Let me take out everything in that bag. Make sure we don't lose anything. So take this to drop the stuff in. All the bolts. Get it out the bag. And that's how it comes, guys. First thing first, let's see if we could take that side off of there. We get it off there, guys. We get it. Yep, it have the lock tight on there, that's why. Let me just slide it right off. You guys could see what I do. Let me put that away. Oh, I put that. I put it in the bag. The other stuff come from one time, so that I'm not losing in case we want to change it back. Yep, and just like that, it's out. Put that in the bag also. That's one. And we'll just clean it up. It had blue Loctite on there. Alright guys, so it was giving me a little trouble. I just had to clean out the um, backs of it. The back of the side, but now it's in there and it's just sliding in right now. See? Just slide right in. Yeah, you go, that's how it go. Just slide right in there and watch. I thought it would have a problem with the, the loaded indicator, but it's not even touching it. So it worked perfect on there. So now all I have to do is put Loctite on the um, screw. Make sure it's center and just make sure everything is center and just lock tight it down. Yeah, could not wait to do that one. All right, so let me get the, they send um, four different screws. I think the silver one is the one that you have to use for the back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, put some Loctite on it. Just a little bit, not too much. Put a little bit of Loctite on there. I don't want it smudging, making a mess all over the place. The big fingers can't even hold it properly, but I got it. Just drop it in here. Afterwards, I'll clean up everything. And I'll not tighten it down all the way. Go back first and then go forward. Yep, here we go. Oops, sorry I kicked you guys. But I'll not go and tighten it all the way yet. Still want to make sure that it's, it's even. Let me take a look at it. Look even to me. And just snug it down. That's it. Should be good right there. All right, look, guys. Now, back this. I'll take the red dot. Make sure my finger is clean. No blue. No Loctite on there. And then you just sit down. You see, it have um, two grooves on here. Just those two holes fit right in it. Look, as you could see, under they have two holes. One, two, and those grooves it go right in the holes. 
Let's have to get it right there. Yep. There we go. Sit down and it matching the holes perfectly. And I did open it already and put my um my batteries in there and everything. Now we have to figure out which of those screws we're gonna use. So you have a long one and a short one. I think I'll try the long one first. I'll not put the red dot yet, we're just trying it out to see if it's gonna work. Not if it's gonna because I know it's gonna work, but let's just see. And what size? I think I have some small ones here. Yep. Let's see if it's gonna screw all the way down. And then we're gonna lock tight it. Yep, it went through. Let's see if you have any wiggling. So you see I used the longer screw and it went all the way down. Just gonna snug it up. But I will be putting Loctite on it. So I just tested it to see with one side. So I'm gonna take it back off and put the step one completed. I put the Loctite on there, snug it down nicely. After I shoot it a couple rounds through there, I'll know how if it's holding or if I have to go back and tighten up again. All my other parts, I just put it in here. The sides, everything, I put it in the box that came with the red dot. So you know I don't lose it, I have it there in case I ever need to change it back. But that's how it look. And the loaded indicator, not even touching the, the, um, the plate. So it worked perfect on there. Could not wait to do that upgrade on here. But up next we'll work on the trigger, so stay tuned for that one. Alright guys, I want to show you all the, um, the trigger pull, let's see if I can show you all. How it is right now. See all that play. There's a before and after. See all that trigger pull. So let's see how less it will be. Alright, so what I have to do now is take out those pins, take out the inside, um, let's go from there.
All right, guys, so that's it for the install. I will also leave a link down below so you guys could see the video I used for me to install the trigger. Now let's see how it works. Still have a whole lot of take up, but don't know if you guys seeing it, but the flash, the flat face trigger, makes it a little better, but it still have a lot of take up on there. Not as bad. What do you guys think? I'll, I'll put the video, I'll put them above each other as I have it side by side right here. The take up is not that bad as before. But leave a comment down below and let me know. Because it's not as bad, but I know on the camera you guys could see that I put them next to each other. Let me see. Look, without pressing the safety, you cannot pull the trigger. So you have to have your finger on the safety. So you cannot press the trigger without the safety. So you have to have your hand on the safety. But the other problem I thought I would have, let me take, let me show you guys right now. It's um, the case I have that I hold my um, pistol on me with. I thought it would not be fitting with the sides, but I'm gonna show you guys right now. I know this video might be a little long. So let me just show you guys real quick. Uh, that's the case I use for um, when I carry in conceal in my gun um, I thought it would have a problem but as you could see it's not even reaching it so it's perfect that's what I was worried about when I was um, putting on the sights looking for the sights for me to put on here perfect you guys can see that video is long enough already so thanks for watching and stay tuned for when i put on the sides for the the canic the sides and the spring and don't forget let me know down below if to get the trigger for us to try the trigger on there but that's it that's the g2c with the sides and the new trigger